بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز وی آر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فرسٹ لرننگ پیتھ پریپیئر دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک سلیکٹ اے شیئر ڈیٹا سیٹ اور کریٹ اے لوکل ڈیٹا سیٹ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن گیٹ ڈیٹا فرام ڈیٹا سورسز ون ٹاپک دیٹ وی ہیڈ اسکپٹ فرام دا فرسٹ لرننگ پیتھ از دس ٹاپک اینڈ دیٹ واز بیکاز وی وانٹیڈ ٹو گو تھرو دا انٹائر سائیکل آف رپورٹ ڈیولپمنٹ and it ends by publishing your power bi desktop report to the power bi service and then we have a report and a data set that we just saw in the previous video so here the shared data set refers to the data set that is published on the power bi workspace inside the power bi workspace we have already seen what is called as a local data set so the normal process of report development which leads to developing a data model is the process where you actually have a local data set because you develop it inside the power bi environment desktop environment but the shared data set is something that maybe you do not create but somebody else has created and he has published it to a workspace in which you have access but you yourself have not not created it so in that scenario if you want to use that data set in and build a report on that then that is going to be a shared data set so now let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see how we can actually select a shared data set and build a report on top of that so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and instead of working on the existing file i have opened up a new power bi file which is a blank or untitled power bi desktop file and now what we are going to do here is that we are going to explore this option which here says one lake data hub so this one lake terminology comes with the fabric but you should not worry much about it here the option in which we are interested is the option which says power bi data set so remember i just mentioned that we have in the power bi service once we publish the report from the desktop to the to the service we have data sets so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click here on the power bi data sets option and what it is going to do is that it is going to show me all the data sets that that are available in my power bi service so here you can see that on the very top i can see that there is the name of maven market report which is sitting in the pl300 batch 3a so this was the report that we published in in one of the previous videos so all i am going to do is that i am going to just select this one and then i am going to click on connect so after a few seconds you are going to see that your power bi report has been populated with all the data which was available in the report that we created in all the previous videos so this was the report that we had published to the power bi service so all the all the artifacts all the columns all the tables all the measures everything is available here inside of this data pane area and if you come here you are going to see another thing that we just have the report view and we just have the data model view or the model view and remember once we were connected to a direct query source this was the same thing that we saw there and if you come on the bottom part here you are seeing that this has a live connection it's where it says connected live to the power bi data set so let me just first go and show you the model view so what do we see inside the model view so here we are seeing something that we haven't really seen before and if i just hover over one of these here it is saying the table name and it does in, in the data source it is saying sql server analysis services so remember once we were talking about the direct query mode the live connection mode and the import mode in the first learning path we saw that there are there is a, a live connection that is made with a analysis services connect an analysis services data source so here we have an sql server analysis services database which is being shown as the data source so inherently we have discussed this once we were talking about the data model that that our 
Power BI report has an instance of an SQL Server Analysis Services or an SSAS database. So this is exactly the same database. So here, if I just zoom out, you are going to see the exact data model that is there. So anybody who has access to the workspace. So in this case, this, this has been developed by me. But if somebody else had published the report in the workspace and I had the access of at least a contributor to that in that workspace, then I would see this kind of a data model and I can just bring that data model here in my environment. So here, if you just select one table, so let me just select the product table here. So again, if I go into the options, the options that we saw, so here you can see that I do not see anything here because the option for storage mode is not being select is not is not being uh, is not showing anything it's not showing any of the options so it means that i do not have the control to actually go and change the storage mode of this particular data model which is a shared data set but i still have the flexibility to connect more data sources with this data model so again i can bring in another data source and you know big uh, you know bring in a, a few other tables and build, build the relationship so if i have more than one particular type of a table storage mode then obviously that would be a composite model so we are not going to discuss the composite model or some of the nitty gritties related to that but this is what i wanted to show so if i come here on my report canvas so here if i just bring in try to bring in and uh, make any visualization that i have been making previously so i am going to go back into my products and i am going to pull in my product brand on the canvas and then and i am going to go into the uh, iterator measures and i am going to bring in my total cost so you are going to see that after a few seconds it has created a bar chart which i see here right now and this is exactly the same thing that i was doing in one in all the previous videos so what this actually means so this actually means that if one person in your team if you are working in an organization and if one person in your team is working on making a data model and he publishes that uh, makes that data model using power bi desktop and he publishes that as, and as a part of a data set then many people who have access to that particular workspace can make their own reports inside of the Power BI desktop environment using the same mechanism that I have just shown you. So this is a very powerful feature of Power BI and this shared data set capability allows people to actually just focus on the report development while other people can just focus on the data set or data model development. So before closing out this particular video, I wanted to just highlight this diagram that we had discussed in the one of the videos where we discussed import direct memory and dual storage mode. So this was the bit that we had not discussed at that time. And this is the bit that we have that we are discussing right now. And here you if you have uh, have a look at this particular area here, it says that it can be converted into a direct query. So now let's go back and see how this can actually be achieved. So if I come back to the report and in the in the bottom of the report, like I previously highlighted that there is this area which says that connected live to the Power BI data set. And here is the name of my data set. And here you see towards the end, there is a clickable link which says make changes to this model. So if I just go and click on this make changes to this model, you are actually going to see that a message is message pops up and here it says that to make changes to your model like renaming columns and adding data from multiple sources you will need to switch to a direct query connection so like i just explained that i can bring in more tables here and i can make changes to the data model but more data model but that is going to require a direct query connection so that is why i said that this can be converted into a direct query connection so and then obviously it would become a composite model and this data model would then be a different data model to the model that we just connected in the Power BI in the Power BI uh, service. 
So uh, the last part here it says that it, this requires adding a local model to your file and is a permanent change. So what it is, what it, it actually means is that this is now going to convert this shared model into again a local model, and then the development process is going to be the same. So again, this is something that can be that that can be done. So you have this flexibility that you already have a shared data set or a data model in the Power BI service. You connect to that particular data model or data set and then you can again make changes and can make it and convert it into a new data model which which would act as a local model and then you have the op the opportunity to publish that into the power bi service but we are not going to cover that part i just wanted to uh, show you that this is a capability that is available inside the power bi desktop environment so that's all for the shared data set video and 